Hey, this is Craig. I'm back in the shop this afternoon. I'm going to show you a project I've worked that wanted to have running for many years, and I finally got it running this afternoon, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So what I have over here is an Apache 5800 I got from Carver Freight, and I have a complete video switcher embedded into this as well as a, a display monitor, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. This is a Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro ISO. This allows you to have four HDMI inputs as well as two audio inputs. I have these audio inputs up here. And I'm running right now, I'm running uh, my Ceramonic wireless lapel mic into uh, channel one over here. And I have a USB drive connected up, a SanDisk USB drive connected up to this as well. So with this, I can switch between any of these four sources and I can start recording by just pressing this button. And I can also uh, connect this to ethernet and I can do live stream right from this video switcher. And so right now I have, um, well, I'll show you up here. I have a, a 1080p monitor embedded into the, into the, um, the lid of this uh, 5800. And this is showing you the control output from this switcher. And so from this, you can see all four cameras that I have all four um, HDMI inputs. And then we can I show you the preview and then the actual program. So if I was live streaming, it, you would actually be seeing this, this, this view right here. And the two cameras I have in here right now, my camera one, I typically have this set up for this is my main camera where I do most of my video shooting. And then I could have a couple of additional uh, cameras here. And I have camera th uh, three here pointing at the punch and die on my 25T. And then over here, I'm broadcasting out the actual screen that's on the Langmire Systems 25T, the press break. And so between those, I can switch between these here and I could do a live stream and then I could have somebody acting as a as the video director for this. There's a really nice thing about this unit. I've had these for about three years now, and I'll tell you the really great thing that this does is re what's recorded on here is, is each of the channels individually as a single MP4 file, each of the audio channels from the four inputs, the audio inputs from these two as well, and um, the program output, so whatever comes out over here on the program. And all this is stored on the USB drive as a bunch of files, as well as a project file of all the different cuts that I made during the video. And I can open that project file directly in DaVinci Resolve and do any kind of post-editing I need to do um, from there. So uh, this is going to be a great uh, addition to our shop here. Uh, so we, we're going to be able to record um, our videos for whatever we're working on with up to four camera shots, four camera feeds at the same time, as well as if we wanted to do live feeds, we could do that. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have over here. There's some additional features on the back. Oh, let me show you the back of this, this plate here. I'll show you the, uh, the, let me just show you back here, the mess, it's the wires. But I cut the back out of this uh, 5800 with our laser cutter. And I have all four camera inputs uh, labeled one, two, three, and four. And you can see over there, there's another four. I have a couple of uh, HDMI splitters that go back out. So I could, whatever I run into channel four goes to the switcher and it also comes back out on channel four output. And then there's a, there's a thing over there, there's a port over there called CON, which is the console, which is also split off of the A10 mini output which is what you're seeing on that display inside the lid. And I have the ethernet port over there. Inside the box, I have a 12 volt power supply running everything. And I also have a DC to DC converter to go up to 15 volts. And I also have a DC to DC converter to go back down to five. And that's handy because everything runs off of one power supply at 12 volts. It is possible this could be powered um, from a 12 volt battery source. So what we'll go, we'll show you what, um, what I have going on over here. So this is my press break and there's my, my puppy dog, Levi. He's over here to the shop this afternoon. So here's a regular display you're seeing uh, normally on your uh, press break. And then up here, I'm actually echoing the, what's coming out of the video switcher on the control, on the control port. So up here, I can check out the, where all the camera, what the cameras are seeing, all four cameras, as well as all my audio levels are over here. And I have a variety of cameras. 
I purchased a bunch of these uh, Sony Alpha 6000 bodies because they have HDMI output, uh, which, which, which is handy because I can use real Sony lenses. And I have a variety of lenses over there for that, even though it's kind of dark here. But And then I have uh, some soft boxes as well as some spotlights in here in the shop. And over here, we'll show you something else. So I have another 5800 over here, which houses all the cameras and all the cabling. So all the cabling sits down below in the bottom of this, all the HDMI cables down here. And then I have, I cut out a, um, a piece of hardboard down here that, that'll fit inside this box on these rails. And up here I have my, my various um, cameras that I have. So I have two cameras set up now. I can put this third camera out here. And I have, uh, like I said, my Ceramonic wireless lapel mics. I also have a, a road mic here if I need to use this as well. And my backup audio source, if I, you know, I typically have this running all the time as my main source. This is a Tascam, uh, I don't know what this is called, DR, DR40. This is a four channel audio recorder. This thing's a beast. So I, I could just run that as well. And this is a macro lens. So if I really need to focus on something close, this works great. This one over here is just a standard telephoto. This is a, a 18 to 135. And then this is a, a Rokinon a wide angle lens. So I can set up a variety of shots with my cameras that I have here and running them all in into the, into the ATEM Mini. So that's what I got going. I can come down here and get back in here. We can switch over to my, my, my video feed here. So I got Levi here this afternoon with me. And uh, with this, I think I'm gonna be able to produce really high quality videos. Uh, we have the right lighting, we have the right audio, we have the video equipment, and we have tons of cabling. And it's even though it's a pretty complicated thing to set up, it's, it's gonna dramatically be easier. We're just gonna be able to roll in two or three boxes of cabling and lights and be able to record uh, really well lit uh, real, um, uh, and be able to do all the switching as well as we can do live streams too. So that's what's, that's what I've got this afternoon. Uh, thanks for watching.